Good morning, Peaches. Welcome back to x TV. I'm Eli Santiago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today's Tuesday, August 27th, 2024. Patriots, here's some great news. Our music teacher, Mr. Santiago, has an announcement. Let's take a look. Good morning, Rex Pines. My name is Mr. Santiago, for those of you who are meeting me for the first time, and I'm here to tell you guys about our drumline and band auditions that are coming up. So the drumline auditions will be this Wednesday, August 28th after school from 345 to 530 and the band audition will be next week Tuesday September 3rd after school from 345 to 530 they are both for middle school so if you are interested please ask your parents to check their emails and have them sign you up via the sign up genius links that were sent out to your parents so I look forward to seeing you all I would look forward to seeing all of the new talent here at Rex Pines see you guys later Thanks, Mr. Santiago. Now let's go to some more for Today in History. Thank you, Eli. Hey, Patriots. Today in History on August 27th, 1883, the Krakatoa volcano erupted. This volcano is located in Indonesia. Did you know this volcano has been around for about millions of years? On the day of the eruption, lava rushed down the volcano, clashing with the water, causing gas to rise in the air. The last time it erupted was February 2020. Luckily, now one was on the island. And now let's check in with Zarmel for today's lunch. Thank you, Samara. Today's tasty lunch is sweet and sour chicken, brown rice, turkey and cheese wrap, seasoned Italian veggies, red bell pepper, garden salad, ranch dressing, and sliced pears. Tomorrow breakfast is frosted cinnamon rolls, Lucky Charms, string cheese, fresh banana, and 100% apple juice. Students, please keep in mind the lunch menu can change at any time and to always let your teachers know if you're going to be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's go back to the line. Thank you, Zarmel. That sounds like awesomeness. Patriots, chewing gum in school is not allowed, so be a hero and spit it out to keep our school clean. Be a hero with phones, too. Make sure they are turned off and in your backpacks at all times. Oh, and make sure to wear only a school jacket or a sweater. Let's check in with Harasa for a refresh on our uniform expectations. Hey Patriots, welcome back to the 2024 to 2025 school year. Today I'll be refreshing everyone's memory on the dress code so we can avoid any potential consequences in the future. Kayla here can be our main example. Remember, you are not allowed to wear any outside jackets, especially with a hoodie. And also, you are not allowed to wear any hats or beanies. This also applies to your shoes. Remember, you're not allowed to wear any Crocs, foam runners, or any open toe shoes. Here is an example of the uniform you should wear. Middle schoolers are to wear their navy blue polo or their white polo, khaki or navy blue pants, and lastly, plain white or black socks. Your only option isn't just pants, of course. You could also wear shorts like mine, also available in the navy blue version. Thank you, Zarmo. As for our elementary kids, you are to wear your red polo. And then on Mondays, you are to wear your blue button-up with a tie or sash. That's it for now, Patriots. Make sure to make good choices and have a great rest of your school year. Great tips. Thanks, Harasa. Finally, the time has arrived. Our instructional software challenges are back. Okay, you guys should know what to do by now, so let's skip to the good part. K-4 through will have fun times with waffles and dress down. Isn't that an interesting combo? Well, on to 5th and 8th. They will be having a fun day with Sundays and dress down. But there's a twist. The top three users with the most lessons will also partake. So much fun! K through second are continuing their math fluency test throughout the rest of the week. Good luck! Now let's check today's weather with Kayla. Sunny days, Patriots. Today, weather is 90 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered showers. In other weather's news, a rise in global temperature might cause increase in ticks populations in cool regions. Ticks are small insects that live in warm climates and are known for spreading diseases. 
Normally, ticks aren't able to survive in regions that are cold, but due to its rising temperatures worldwide, tick populations have migrated to places like Scotland Mountains, where they previously couldn't survive. This increase in tick could mean an increase in tick-borne disease. Who knew the temperature could change the effect in bugs? Now let's wish our patients happy birthday with it, Giselle. Thank you, Kayla. Today's birthday boys and girls are Danielle Hamilton, Dylan Martinez Lopez, Maverick Antoine, and our very own RBTV member, Jaceline Fania. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Alaya. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots here, your past expectations represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss M. Williams for getting the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, what is the oldest soft drink in America? The correct answer was Dr. Pepper. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. What is the most popular car color? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Everybody at RPTV would like to wish you all a tremendous Tuesday. Have a great day.